Do you often find yourself stuck in a loop of endless thoughts, stressing about every little thing? You've got an overthinking problem, and it's a common struggle that many people face. However, this habit is a destructive one. When you can't break free from your overthinking routine, you lose control of your life and let your fears control it. Your productivity drops to zero and your mental health deteriorates. So how do you stop this? How do you prevent yourself from falling into the trap of endless thoughts? There are 10 simple ways to do this. And in this video, we're going to teach them all so you can finally reclaim your life and give your mind some peace. But before you do that, hit subscribe. Number 10. Identify Triggers Do you know the worst part of overthinking? It often sneaks up during times of stress and conflict. Adding to the bad timing of the overthinking problem, it also manifests as a rumination on sad or troubling thoughts, or even constant worry about the future. However, the first step to dealing with this parasite problem is identifying your triggers. If you catch yourself replaying a single thought over and over, start keeping a journal. In the journal, you'll write down the timing of these thoughts and your possible explanation for their trigger. You'll see that as you start to document these moments, patterns will start emerging. This way, you can easily anticipate when you're about to fall into the overthinking trap. When you can recognize these triggers, you can develop coping strategies to deal with them. You will successfully turn the tables on the overthinking parasite because you'll have the tools ready to deal with it before it even creeps in. This simple practice will help you regain control so you can manage your stress effectively. Number 9. Challenge your thoughts Now, one step is to recognize the patterns and stop the triggers beforehand. However, there will be times when you'll fail and endless worries and what-ifs will start filling your head. What do you do then? To deal with your thoughts head-on, you need to know one thing. Not everything your mind tells you is true. Start by examining the evidence behind your thoughts. Are they logical, reasonable, or helpful? If your overthinking doesn't hold up to scrutiny, calling it out can make it easier to manage. Our brains constantly produce all kinds of thoughts. Some useful, some not. But thinking is a two-way street. We have the power to decide which thoughts to accept and which to dismiss. By questioning and verifying your thoughts, you can reduce their power over you. This approach transforms overthinking from a burden into a manageable challenge, putting you back in control. Number 8. Reprogram your brain Did you know that the default state of your brain at rest is problem-solving and self-referential thinking? Yes, and these two habits are what often lead you to overthink when your brain isn't occupied. But guess what? You can train your brain to break this habit. The simple trick to do this is to engage in mind-clearing activities before bed. For instance, you can try reading a book or doing gentle exercise to tire yourself out before you sleep. These practices can redirect your brain from overthinking to a more peaceful state, so you can end your day with a calm, clear mind instead of a whirlwind of worries. Training your brain takes consistency, but with time, you'll notice a shift in your thought patterns. Embrace this step and watch as overthinking gradually loses its grip, leaving you with a more focused and tranquil mindset. Number 7. Meditate Now, one of the best ways to calm your mind down is to incorporate meditation into your routine. Meditation, particularly attention training, works wonders for calming an overactive mind. Imagine focusing intensely on a simple routine task like washing dishes or folding laundry. This might seem mundane, but it's a powerful way to train your brain. When you direct your attention to these everyday activities, you become hyper-focused, tuning in to the sensations and the process. This laser focus helps quiet those intrusive thoughts that fuel overthinking. Have you ever tried immersing yourself fully in a task? Feeling every movement? Noticing every detail? It's a practice that quite literally changes the way your mind operates. To give your brain a much-needed break from overthinking, you need to embrace meditation so you can quiet your mind and reclaim your peace. Number 6. Exercise Oftentimes, we underestimate the power of moving our bodies. A lot of research points towards the fact that physical activity can relieve depression, anxiety, and a lot of other mental health issues. But how does this help with overthinking? You see, 
Even a five-minute simple walk around the block can flood your brain with feel-good chemicals like endorphins, which means you get an instant mood burst. Not only this, exercise is a brilliant way to shift your nervous system out of the fight-flight-freeze mode. It calms down trauma-related rumination. Now another thing that helps with mindfulness is grounding body scans. You close your eyes and feel your heartbeat. Clasp your hands tightly or place your feet firmly on the ground, feeling each point of contact. This helps you anchor your mind and helps you to combat overthinking. Don't forget that you have the power to move your way out of overthinking. Number five, keep emotions in your check. Do you ever have moments when your emotions get the better of you and cause you to overthink things? There is, however, a successful strategy to counter this. To begin with, being present at the moment does not imply suppressing your negative feelings. Rather, the important thing is to recognize them and comprehend their underlying causes. When anxiety attacks, consider the true cause of the emotion. It's frequently associated with more significant worries, like not feeling in control or not making the kind of progress you'd like to. You need to dig deeper and identify the root cause. When you gain insight into why you overthink, you recognize the trigger before it escalates. This way, you gain power over your emotions, and this awareness allows you to manage them effectively. Number four, learn to differentiate between fear and your gut feeling. Do you find yourself paralyzed by indecision, unsure whether to trust your gut or fear making a mistake? Overthinkers often struggle with this, leading to a cycle of endless deliberation that results in no decision at all. To know whether it's your gut or your fear guiding you, you start by connecting to your body. Take a few deep breaths and envision what it would feel like to make the decision you're pondering. Does it feel right deep down or are you driven by a fear of failure? When you're able to tell the difference, this clarity helps you break free from overthinking and take confident steps forward. Picture yourself moving ahead, trusting your true instincts, and silencing the nagging fears. This skill is important as it transforms your indecision into action, so you're not led by your fear that stems from overthinking. Number three, ask yourself the right questions. Finding yourself trapped in a loop of unproductive questioning is not a good feeling. In these moments, you'll ask yourself, why can't I stop overthinking everything? But let us tell you, this type of tone and questioning with yourself only perpetuates the cycle. You need to break the cycle. So instead of asking yourself questions with no answers, focus on solution-oriented, proactive questions. Shift your form of questioning from, why does this happen to me only, to what energy am I projecting that attracts such things? This change in questioning helps you identify actionable steps to improve your situation. Think about the empowerment that comes from asking questions that lead to positive changes in your behavior and life. Asking yourself the correct questions will assist you in gaining confidence in yourself so you can move towards a positive mindset. Number two, stop holding on to your past. Many people who have a problem with chronic overthinking often hold on to their past. You might find yourself relating to this because if you're an overthinker, you must constantly revisit your past mistakes. You expend energy dwelling on the past so much that it leaves you exhausted. However, the thing is, you can't change your past, but what you can change is the meaning you give to it. Why should you let your past mistakes control your future decisions? The answer to this question is simple. You should not. When you forgive others and release your anger, you reclaim your power. You reshape your story and write it yourself because, well, it's yours. Whenever you find yourself revisiting your old mistakes and the hurt people have caused you, try this exercise. Close your eyes and visualize yourself moving forward. Close your fists and picture all of the past events that bother you and closed in it. Then slowly open your fist and let go. When you open your eyes again, remember to live in the present moment rather than staying stuck in the past. Number one, be solution oriented. By now, you know how to identify your triggers, recognize your patterns, and refocus your mind to stop overthinking. But all of this is not nearly enough. You need to change where you're channeling your energy, and there should be only one place where your energy should go. Solutions. Who doesn't want to set clear goals to get where they want to be in life? In order to set goals, 
you need to make some bold moves to steer your life in the right direction. The decision to reclaim your life requires courage. No one controls your reality other than yourself. So start by setting actionable goals to achieve. Whether it's your career, your physical health, or just this attempt to stop overthinking. When you focus on the solutions and take decisive actions toward them, you free yourself from the reins of your mind. Now, it's you who's controlling your life, rather than your mind controlling it. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. See you next time.